what's up guys this is Massey welcome to my channel this video I want to show you different forms of quadratic equations first of all I need to mention what quadratic means quadratic equations are those equation polynomials that have exponent 2 so the largest exponent is 2 so these are called quadratics so we have three different forms of quadratic equations the first one is called standard or general equation y equals to x squared plus bx plus c that's called standard form second one is a times x minus r times x minus s that's called factored form and the last one is a times x minus p to the power of 2 plus q and this one is also called vertex form standard factored and vertex form so most of the time in solving quadratic equation we need to find out the roots or zeros of quadratic equation what does that mean roots or zeros roots or zeros are x-intercept it means that those points that graph crosses or touches the x-axis for example Quadratic equations are in parabola, so it's going to be have this shape or it can have something like that or it can be something like that. So it is opening up sometimes or it's opening down. I will explain it later on. So we can have three different cases. The first case is when parabola crosses the x-axis at two points. At two points. We can say that the quadratic equation has two real answers. This one, as you see here, the parabola or quadratic equation touches the x-axis. So we have one point or one zero or one x-intercept or one root. And sometimes it doesn't touch or doesn't cross the x-axis it means that there is no <laughs> real solution so when we see the graph we can figure out if we have two answers if we have one answer or if we have no answers so that's graphical methods now I want to show you how to figure out from quadratic equation how to figure out if it has two answers or one answer or no answer so again we are in standard form if b squared minus 4ac greater than 0 so you find a b c and you put it in this expression if it's greater than 0 we can say we have two zeros or two roots or two x-intercepts or two real answers <coughs> if b squared minus 4ac equals to zero it means that we have one answer it means that the graph just touches the x-axis and sometimes b squared minus 4ac is less than 0. In that case, we have no answer. So that's how we figure out if we have two answers, one answer or no answer. So now we found out how to identify the number of answers. Now we want to see how to find the actual answers, actual zeros or roots or x-intercepts. We need to use a equation called 
quadratic equation which as you see here we can have two answers and we use it, this expression to find these two answers. So negative b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. Negative b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. So as you see here, this expression under the radical is the same expression here. It means that when it's negative, there is no answer. When it's zero, the whole thing is zero and we have just negative b over 2a. So that's how we find the points that graph crosses the x-axis. So as I mentioned earlier, we have factored form as well. Which is like a times x minus r, x minus s. These r and the s are showing the location of x-intercepts or they are showing the zeros or roots for example we can find the zeros here and if you want to find convert it to the factored form we can just convert it like that but we need to find the value of a as well for example if we have y equals to 2 times x minus 1 times x plus 3 the roots or zeros or x intercepts will be x minus 1 equals to 0 x equals to 1 x plus 3 equals to 0 x equals to negative 3 so these are the x intercepts and as you know at x intercepts y is 0 because as you see here, if x is 1, this one is 0, so the whole expression is 0. If x is negative 3, this term is 0, so the whole expression is 0, which is y. So these are the roots or zeros. Another example, we have negative 3x times 3x minus 1. This example, we have x times 3x minus 1. So the first one, x equals to 0. The second one, 3x minus 1 equals to 0. Therefore, 3x equals to 1, so x is 1 over 3. So these are the two roots or two x-intercepts. Somebody might, might ask, you said quadratic equation has exponent 2, but we don't see it here. I can say that since it's factored form, you need to have the degree of this expression and the degree of this expression and then you add them. Degree is 1, degree is 1, 1 plus 1 it will be 2. Last one is vertex 4. Vertex form is y equals to a times x minus p to the power of 2 plus q. Vertex is showing the minimum or maximum point of parabola. If it's opening up, we are dealing with a minimum. If it's opening down, we are dealing with a maximum. So vertex is minimum when A, this A here, is positive, it's opening up. And vertex is maximum when it's opening down, when a is less than zero or when a is negative. How do we find the exact location? That will be p and q. p, q, sorry, p and q will be the location of vertex point. Let's see some example. The first example, if you compare it with this guy here, we have a times x minus p squared plus q. So it's minus here. So then we can say that the vertex point is 1 and 2 for the first one. 
For the second one, it's going to be negative 2 and negative 1 because that one flips. So if it's positive, it's negative. If it's negative, it'll be positive. And here we have negative 5 and 0 because Q is 0. And here we have P is 0 because we have just X squared, negative 1. And this one is going to be just 0 and 0 because both P and Q are zeros. So let's find out if we are dealing with a minimum or maximum. Here, the A is 2, it's positive, so we are dealing it with a minimum. Here, A is negative, so it is opening down, so we are dealing with a maximum. Here, A is 1, positive 1, it is opening up, so we are dealing with a minimum. Same thing here is 2, and same thing here is 1, so that will be minimum, minimum, minimum. So these are the pretty much the three different forms of quadratic equations, standard form, factored form, and vertex form. Another important note I want to mention, the location of vertex, the X component of vertex is the average of two roots we have. For example, if we have two locations that graph crosses the x-axis the average of these two points show you the vertex point for example if we have this parabola first point is one second point is seven for example on x-axis the location of vertex which will be on this uh, this line which is here will be 1 plus 7 divided by 2 which is 8 divided by 2 which is 4 so x is 4 if you want to find y you just plug it in in any equation you have or just read it from here so x of vertex point is the average of two roots or two x intercepts And the line here is called axis of symmetry. So for example, in this case, the axis of symmetry is x equals to 4. x equals to 4. I hope you like this video. Please leave me a comment if you have any question and I get back to you as soon as possible. If you found it useful, please like and share this video. And please subscribe this channel. Thank you for watching and I'll come back another time with a new video. Have a great day.